It's grooming time. So right now I am using a whitening shampoo. Well, it's a whitening and brightening shampoo on Dallas's legs. And we use it anywhere that there's white. Um, so it's the Bright by, I think it's Showmaster is the name of the brand. Uh, it's in our Amazon um, shopping list or phone's on store thing. I don't know exactly what it's called, um, but it's the link down in the description. You'll be able to go and see all of our must-have show products. Um, and so I have all of the shampoos and everything that we use in there, but I actually like this one better than the Chris Christensen because this will brighten all colors, not just whites. This is how we do it. <laughs> well, it's that time of year. <laughs> Braiding season. Say hello to Elliot. <laughs> and Anne. Sabrina. And one of our newest additions. Red. <laughs> also, while we're out here, I want to show you all this um, awesome feeder. I've been wanting to get one like this for a while. And I actually found a guy on Craigslist selling them. So it's one of those old water tanks. And then he cut it and welded it and screwed um, rubber onto the sides and the bottom to hold the hay in. And it's got this nice little lid that bungee cords. And then in the bottom to catch the excess hay. He actually sold it to me for $125 got one in the other pen too and as you can see there's still a little bit of hay waste on the outside but nothing compared to when we were using tires over there yeah it's it's a pretty sweet addition say hello Bella hey. Bella get off the fence look what you were doing to this fence get off of there Well, we had some watermelon, and so I brought the rinds out for the goats and the chickens, and Boffy here loves them. He's eating them whole. Dan likes them too. The girls are like, meh. I don't know about this. Here you go, buddy. Please watch my fingers. Gave them to the other goats first, and they weren't this excite as excited as him. Luna likes watermelon too. Did you eat them? You ate both of them. Eve wasn't interested. Giselle had a little nibble. Maybe she ate one. Oh, there's one right there. Get it. Get it, guys. It's right there. Wes. This is Wesley. He is Lily and Elliot's son. Hi, Betty. Hi, Betty. And his twin sister, Magnolia. Maggie, what are you doing, baby? They, they got blue eyes just like their parents. Oh, we're done milking for the year. Once all these does have their babies, we'll be using these stands. Hello, Vallegro. Aren't we getting big? The dogs aren't happy that they're not out here with me. All right, so you can see this feeder a little bit better here. Hi, Boffy. Boffy's excited he has two girlfriends this year. He has yet to produce, so hopefully he can. I think that Beginning of this year, he just wasn't mature enough 
he's definitely stinky like a normal buck now, so we've we have high hopes. There is Sangria. She is another one of the new does that we just got. Red, who's in the other pen getting bred to Elliot, is actually her mom. Uh, so we picked up the both of them from a friend who has decided to sell all of her goats. Hi, Buffy. You want some more watermelon? And Lily's back in there too. So because we have the twins from Elliot and Lily, we decided this time we would breed this year. We're gonna breed her to Buffy and see what we get there. Maybe we'll get some blue-eyed moon spots, and then Dan's in there just hanging out. All right, I tried the two-ingredient biscuit recipe. It's just self-rising flour and heavy whipping cream, and they look pretty good. The second batch is in the oven in my cast iron. And today I purchased an air fryer on a Black Friday sale from Walmart. And so I'm trying some fried okra in it. I'm using the exact same temperature and time if I were to deep fry it. So we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so it just stopped and I put this in for the so the air fryer just stopped and is beeping. I put it in for the longer end because it says to deep fry the fried okra for four to six minutes. So I put it in for the six minutes. And then halfway between I did the shake, which it didn't look like it was even close to done. So we shall see. Well, well the lighting's not super awesome in here. Mmm. Yeah, that doesn't look done it, at all. I'll put it in for a few more minutes and see, but I'm really not thinking this is going to work. Just the breading on it doesn't look cooked. It looks dry. All right, so this is what I have is the Great Value Breaded Okra. On here it says for a deep fryer. 306 degrees, four to six minutes, or until golden brown. So I ended up putting it in for another four minutes. It's at the halfway point here, two minutes, and so it wants me to shake it. Just pull it out. Looks a little better, and it's sticking. All right, I've turned my flash on so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, yeah, so I used a spoon to unstick it, and yeah, this still does not look cooked at all. It looks very uncooked. So I'll put it back in for the other two minutes, but I have a feeling this isn't going to work out. Maybe I should have taken the fry basket thing out. While we're in the kitchen, I just wanted to show you guys something super exciting. So I used to have um, this bar over here with the knives on this other shelf but I decided I wanted to free up cupboard space because I'm very limited on cupboards here. So I decided to get a spice rack. So it's actually a wall one, but I attached it to the cupboard. So I have all my spices right there, plus my little rolly rack right here already. But it freed up so much space and I'm super excited and I am actually gonna get some more of these and put you know down here on the walls under the cupboards for additional storage so I can make more space with all of my you know aluminum foils and plastic wraps and Ziploc bags will go in there I'm gonna put some back here behind the washer and dryer also to put you know like all of our washer and dryer stuff so like all of the essential oils, dish soap, or laundry soap and whatnot. Okay, so they look a little bit more cooked, but they're still like the dry bits that look just like completely untouched dough. So I guess I'll put it in for another four minutes and we'll see what happens. I did put these in here frozen just like I would if I was going to deep fry them. All right, only one more minute left for the second batch of biscuits. So this first batch I put in for 15 minutes 
me turn that light on. Um, just like the recipe called for, but they just look a little undercooked. I mean, the bottoms where they were on the cast iron look great, but the tops look a little undercooked. So I put this next batch in for 20 minutes, and we'll see if it's too much. Um, there's my spoon that I used to switch over the okra. All right, moment of truth. Oh yeah, those look much better. So that recipe I did, so just can compare the two. So they're a lot more golden, perfect. So I'm gonna change my recipe to 20 minutes. All right, so we're at the halfway point again on this next four minutes. I'm gonna shake it. Yeah, they're just not, not looking great. Um, I'm wondering if maybe if I would've just like lightly rolled them in some oil before putting them in here. I mean, I read, when I read the instructions, it was saying not to put any kind of like oil or anything in here, but I'm going to have to do some research and see what we can do because this isn't looking great. <laughs> um, my daughter one time tried to bake this in the oven and it came out about like this. So that should have given me an idea of how should have done this. Look at how flaky the inside of this biscuit is delicious. I will put the recipe in the description. It was one that I had actually watched another YouTuber do um, and then I just modified it a little bit. All right time's up on here and I mean some parts it looks cooked but yeah and we're gonna call this one a fail. Well Super disappointed <laughs> that the okra did not work, but it's my first time using the fryer or fryer. I'll have to do some searching online and see if I can figure out exactly how to make it work. I was looking in between takes and there was one that it said that they um, did like chicken wings and they just lightly coated the chicken with a cooking oil, like a vegetable oil. So that might be what I have to do for this. Who knows? If any of you have done it before, let us know in the comments. Hey Bella, how old are you? You're four? Is that what you said? You're four? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Most areas have a foster care closet. It's like a thrift store for foster kids where you can donate suitcases, bags, and clothes.